and welcome, this is Baller Scoople with Let's Play Castlevania 2 Simon's Quest. This game came out in 1988 for the Nintendo Entertainment System, released by Konami. It is the sequel to Castlevania. It is an interesting take on a sequel. It does come with a prologue. Let's read that quickly. Step into the shadows of the Hell House. You've arrived back here at Transylvania on business to destroy forever the curse of the evil Count Dracula. We're back as Simon Belmont. Let's head in and defeat Dracula once more. Apparently we didn't do it well enough the first time. Let's head in. We have two options. We have game start and password, uh, but I don't have a password, so let's start from scratch here. Let's start the game. And we get three players. And automatically, you might notice that things are a little bit different this time. I'm in a town. This is the town of Jova. And this guy's walking away from me. He's actually pretty important. Let's talk to him. You have to be pretty much on his sprite and hit the whip button. And then you will talk to people. First thing to do in this town is buy a white crystal. That is actually good advice. So I will actually take it. I could talk to you too. A crooked trader is offering bum deals in this town. I'll try to keep that in mind. Uh, we can head in here. This is the church. You can see the cross out front and inside. Uh, they will heal you there, but I just started, so I don't need to be healed. I can continue on all the way to the end, but as you can see, the, the town just kind of stops here. So what I need to do is head down. One of the set of stairs. Going downstairs, always a little bit of an issue, but we will figure it out at some point. How you doing? Here, though, we can find a guy trying to sell a white crystal. It costs 50 hearts. So the hearts in this game work like money. They're the currency of Castlevania II Simon's Quest. I'm going to say no right now, just so I can show off by hitting start, that I have exactly 50 hearts. So I will spend... All of my money here. Buying the white crystal because somebody told me to. And now I have no more hearts, but I do have a little white ball on the screen, so that's that's good. Let's head inside, and here we can find another guy that's probably gonna sell me something. He's got holy water, which sounds really nice, but it costs 50 hearts. It costs 50 heart monies, and I'm all out of heart monies, so nothing today we will head out as you can tell this game has a lot more of an rpg feel to it than the original castlevania game gotta be right on the thing sometimes and we can head all the way down to the bottom i'm going to actually head out of town for a little bit here we can find enemies that i need to whip away and they drop hearts uh during the day you get two hearts for every heart that you pick up so i'm up to, to four hearts and things are looking up I need a lot more, like a lot more. Uh, I like skeletons around here because they die in one hit. As you can see, not everything drops a heart. The, the werewolves, they take two hits. So that's a little bit of grinding. I need to take care of a lot of it. So I might as well take care of some of it up front. All right, so here you can die. You can die in town, try not to. You got me in the middle of the air. Isn't that great? What a horrible night to have a curse. At least they let me continue the jump. Uh, when you're in town in at night, because it has a day-night cycle, some green zombies show up. You are going to want to whip the shit out of them. Uh, do not let them hit you. But at night, they are worth more. These guys will drop hearts. They look like half hearts, uh, but they're... Let me up the stairs. Thank you. Uh, they are half hearts, but they are actually worth four instead of the two that we picked up during the day. It doesn't look like they're actually going to let me do anything here. I do want to try to take advantage of being out at night. Once again, though, I need them to drop some hearts. Let's go for the hops over here. Very careful. Like I said, you can die there, and I have three lives. I'd rather not waste one of them in town missing a jump see my problem is i try to go left or right and up or down when i just need to press up or down all right these guys take two they don't stop so just keep whipping i'm gonna spend some time here i'm going to uh spend some time killing these guys trying to get hearts 
and during the day I'll go back outside and kill some more werewolves and skeletons in order to get hearts. There's a lot of grinding that I need to do to start the game. It is an old RPG after all. Grinding is almost instinctual in this game. So I'm gonna take some time to take advantage of that. I have, how many do I have? 32 hearts. I'll be back when I have over 150. And it's turning to day again. You can tell because the morning sun has vanquished the horrible night. But I have done all the grinding, which is much more important. I did all the work that I wanted to do. So let's continue exploring around town. First things first, I want to go talk to this guy. He was selling the holy water, remember? I would like to purchase that. That would be great. Holy water uh, is used quite a bit in this game. We will be making extensive use of that over time, but not right now. For now, we just head over to the left, hoping I don't die in the process. <laughs> Clues to Dracula's riddle are in the town of Veros. Well, we'll have to head there then. I do need some clues. Will holy water work? It helped last time, but apparently not. I didn't kill him good enough. A flame is on top of the sixth tree in Dennis Woods. I'll try to keep that in mind. Or Denny's Woods. I don't put any punctuation on it, so I say Dennis. Rumor has it the ferryman at Dead River loves garlic. What do you mean, Charon? I got sticks? Why would he love garlic? Make no sense, man. All right, let's talk to this guy. Buy a thorn whip? Indeed, I will. That cost me all my money. It's an upgrade to our light whip. Uh, the thorn whip, I believe, looks the same. It might have a little bit longer of a reach, but it's sometimes hard to tell. But it is more powerful. It is an upgrade, and therefore I want it. And it's worth 100 uh, hearts. A magic potion will destroy the wall of evil. There's only one wall of evil, and there's only one potion. Fingers crossed I can find it. You have a friend in the town of Aldra. Go and see him. I'll we'll think about it. Maybe we'll do it later. I don't know, this Vero sounds important. Thirteen clues will solve Dracula's riddle. I have zero so far, so we're off to a fantastic start. But that is the full loop of town here. Uh, let's go in, and just in case you're not at full health, because you got hit during your grinding, you can head here and you can talk to this guy. What do I have? 32 hearts left. Rest here for a while. Still 32 hearts. Doesn't cost anything. You can get a heal out of that. It's nice. Hooray. All right, we're ready to go. We have some work to do. We need to head to the next town where I'm probably going to need to do some grinding again. Like I said, it's kind of instinctual in this game. Just, well, how much is this town going to cost me? Notice, though, that I can now kill the werewolves in one hit thanks to the upgrade in the whip. That's always good. But now we're actually going to be making progress. We're actually going somewhere. That's always good in a game. Going somewhere. Feels like you make progress when you go somewhere else. Once again, make sure to collect all the hearts. We're going to need them. I might have to grind when we get there. All right, fishmen have now shown up. These guys shoot fireballs. I don't understand why. I don't know what being fish-like has to do with fireballs, but that is indeed what is happening. Remember, Simon cannot swim. Do not go in the water. But we should be able to make these jumps. All right, let's just wait, because these guys will go away over time. Yeah, there we go. Uh, it doesn't look like I can make that jump, but I can. Now, the water in this game is extra poisonous, as opposed to other things that look poisonous, but are not nearly as bad. It's the whip that holds them down, I'm sure. Now here, you can use the holy water and get rid of these two blocks, so you can just head down there. I, I'd rather stay up here. It's not difficult for me to take out skeletons at this point. Uh, but that is the point of what is going on down there. How much do I have? 48. Nothing. Nothing even close to what I wanted. All right, let's kill you guys. And then we will head down the stairs. 
Can I hit, hit get him? Ah, it's not worth it. It might even despawn before I get there. Anything over here? Apparently nightfall is over here. What a horrible night to have a curse. We will be seeing that a lot. You cannot skip through that line of dialogue. You can skip through a lot of other lines of dialogue, but not that one. So we will head down and see what we can find in town. They knocked me out of town. Those bats are strong. Those bats are damn strong. All right, let's get somewhere where I can kind of roam around. I did want to be here at night uh, because I want to do some more grinding because I need 200 hearts. Yeah. This is what, this one's gonna take me a while. This one's a lot worse than the other one. So I'm gonna hang out here taking on bats and zombies. Let's call them zombies or ghouls or something. I have 66. I'll be back when I have 200. And the horrible night has been vanquished by the morning sun again. I am still in the town. This is Veros, by the way, and I need to be healed. So let's take care of that. I am up to 256 hearts. I have lots and lots of hearts. All right, let's talk to you. Rest here for a while. And if you notice, I still have all my hearts. It's free. It's very nice of the Castlevania game to give me a break every once in a while. The last one didn't. Uh, you can read the sign. I don't know why I didn't do that in the first town, but uh, usually they don't have too much information on them. Turn right for Dabby's Path, left for the Varos Woods. I'll try to keep that in mind. Right, let's hop over here. Once again, being very careful not to die in town. And we can talk to you. A rib can shield you from evil. So when I'm in battle, I'll just put my rib out front and hope for the best. We can head in here though, and here we can find nothing. But there's a secret. 